Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Hello, everybody. This is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health so and here we are today again with John Kohler and John is the raw investigator John is a, a, the raw truth John has the answers that you're looking for and here he is John Kohler the raw investigator how you doing how's it going Paul alright uh, John's gonna tell us uh, some amazing information I'm gonna tell you a couple of things John and just tell us what your opinion about them sure because John has done the research and there's a lot of things out there like myself John got into this lifestyle uh, because he got healed from a disease and he really cares about people's health more than he does about how big his wallet is. Uh, and, and he understands the more he gives, the more he gets back. Uh, so, John, tell us about, uh, uh, there's so many things out there that we know that are great. Juicing, which you're a, uh, the juice man of the raw food world. Uh, and then there's, uh, you know, just eating whole foods uh, in their natural state. The real superfoods are the foods you can put in the ground and they'll grow into more foods. Uh, but tell us, John, about the things that people are being deceived about in the raw food world. Uh, let's start with, uh, well, I'll let you say what they are. There's uh, some things in a raw food world, and in under five minutes, John's going to just shout out the, the things in a raw food world to watch out about, be careful about, and to completely avoid, or some things that you can get away with some of the times. All right, John, go. Well, Paul, you know, I really don't like talking about specific products, you know. unless No, like this an, is the Raw Life Health, so you can do it. It's in front of, like, an audience, you Give know. Give names but, and everything. So here's the thing. So what I like, you know, I mean, when you come to my talk or one of the talks I give, it's a really dynamic and group experience because we come up with, as a group consensus, what's really raw and not. So, like, later today I'm going to be giving a talk called Just Because It's Raw Doesn't Mean It's Healthy. And I'll take all 50 or however many people show up. Well, tell us. You've done this talk many times. So what's, what do they usually uh, agree with? Tell us that. Sure. So I'll tell you how it works really quick. Yeah, and name the products. We want to know. I mean, this is time we, we really so, get it straight. You know, but see, Paul... I don't want to, I don't want to like, I want to teach people how to walk, you know, I want to teach them how to walk, not just to, you know, not carry them up, you know, so like if I was having them ride a bike, I wouldn't just put training wheels so they could ride with training wheels on, because I've done all the research, but I don't expect everybody to do the research, but I came up with an easy format so that you could determine when you go into any health food store, if something's raw and healthy or not, and I want to go over that with your audience right now, if you let me. Let's do that, but I do want you to end with the <laughs> products that people are deceived to believe commonly that sure. it's, so really are. Sure, so once I give this formula that I'm going to teach everybody, right, we'll go over some of those products using the formula, and we'll see what we get. How about that? Sounds good. All let's right, do it. great. Let's do it. So, basically, it comes down to this, okay? I asked the audience is, what do you consider raw? So, Paul, why don't you help me out here? What would you consider raw? If you know? it has its enzymes. Uh, All right, perfect. The... Okay, one would be has its enzymes. What's another one? I'll be your audience. Okay, if, it, uh, if it's not cooked. Not cooked. All right. Okay. okay, not heated above 118, has enzymes. Let me help you out here a little bit. I think something raw is water-rich. Would you agree with me? Uh, Should be a water-rich food. Uh, definitely. Definitely. All right, great. Um, for me, a raw food is, is health-building, not health Destroying. Yeah, not health destroying, right? Would yeah. you agree? Uh, well, it should be, but right. there are a lot of raw be. junk foods out there. Right. So well, we I'm coming up with a definition. I mean, when you okay. think raw food, people let, think let, it's let's healthy. Define raw people health. Think... What's raw health food versus raw <laughs> junk food? How's that? And we're just defining raw food, okay. man. You know, I mean, because raw food should be healthy for us. Sure. You know, well, it should be, but raw junk or, food versus raw health food. I'm just because, saying because there are dehydrated uh, junk out there that's considered raw, but is junk. I know. Well, that's what I'm talking about. So, but. See, Paul's from New York, so like, uh -huh. when I went to New York to give this talk, it was like a room full of Paul's, dude, it was so funny, I had to like, because I opened it up to discussion, How about you know? this one, live food versus raw food? <laughs> okay, go ahead, so, so, so anyways, it should be healthy so for our body. So it should bodies. be healthy, you know, should be, you know, contain enzymes, should be not heated above 118 or whatever your degrees is, should be water rich. Another one that I would say that's really important to me is, um, you know, has life force or vibrancy that you could translate that into enzymes or whatever. But most raw foodists would agree with me, or, you know, that's into raw foods, that these are some common things that all raw food should have. Right, Paul? Definitely. Right? Definitely. So the thing is, we have these criteria now that we should, you know, basically is our raw food criteria. And then, you know, for some reason, there's no such thing as a raw food labeling law. So, I mean, maybe 20 years ago, there was no such thing as an organic standard labeling law. You could write organic on anything. It'd be, it'd be legal. I mean, you could spray pesticides on it, you could label it organic, and it'd be legal. But now, you know, after the government got involved and they made the standards, organic standards, now, hopefully, when it says organic, it really is organic, and it's, they have an approved list and non-approved list of things you can and cannot spray or put on these plants. 
But with raw foods, you can put the word raw on anything, and and that's just what it is. I mean, you can put something, you could put the label raw almonds on some roasted almonds, and that's legal. It's immoral and not right and dishonest, but it's legal. So tell us how, what's happening with that. Who's doing that, and what products should people watch out for? So what's happening with that, Paul, is that you know people are labeling things raw that may not meet our definition that we just came up with as raw. So what I like to do is teach people what the definition is because we all know it, but there's some kind of disconnect between what we're really thinking raw food is and what it is out in the world when you go to buy something at the store, right? Okay, and you just said one of them. Uh, almonds, obviously, uh, almonds today uh, aren't necessarily right. raw. And then cashews you mentioned. Right, right. Okay, what else? What so else why do don't we, why don't we, I want to teach people this, Paul. I don't want to tell people this. I want to okay. teach people. So okay. w let's follow me here. Uh -huh. We went over the criteria. So why don't, you know, we had a whole bunch and in class when I give a talk, we come up with, you know, 10 criteria that I go over with people and we put each food up to the criteria. So for example, the criteria that we have on the board, but in this instance we you know had some we talked just discussed, we put up to certain foods, right? So for example, for breakfast I ate cantaloupe. So let's put up my cantaloupe to this criteria. Is a cantaloupe I ate that I got, you know, grown organically at the local health food store that's fresh, not dehydrated or anything, you know. Does that contain is it water rich? Yep. Yes. Is, is it not heated above 118 degrees? Yep. Yep. Is it health building? Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, I mean, is it, you know, uh, has it, does it have life force or vibrance to your enzymes, however you want to classify that? Yep. Yep. So you can see we put up this cantaloupe to this criteria and it's easily all yeses. So now why don't we put up something like raw almonds out of the health food store, right? Is it water rich? Nope. nope. <laughs> does it have life force and enzymes? <laughs> yeah. Paul's looking at me like, what do I answer? Well, we don't know, and that's the honest truth. We don't know. I mean, if it's from California, it's probably been pasteurized, you know, so it's heat processed. Unless so it could, but it depends. It so it's could questionable. Be, it's questionable. You okay. know, does it have life force? We hope so if it hasn't been heated too hot. Yeah, or right? If it hasn't been cooked. Yeah, or rancid either. Or rancid, right? And and is it health building? Well, it's, most of the time, I think almonds can be health building unless you eat too many or if it has chemicals on it because it's been chemically pasteurized, right? So, you could see on the almonds, it was like kind of a gray area. It wasn't all no's, it wasn't all yes's. So, you know, that'd be one of the foods that maybe is okay to eat sometimes. So now, why don't we go to food, like Paul's favorite food, Krakow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm crack sorry, what was that? I didn't hear you. Krakow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I'm sorry, Krakow. Is, uh, is Krakow water rich? Uh, no, no, not at all. not at all. Is it health building? Oh, not at all. Not at all? <laughs> is it, um, you know, full of life, full of vibrancy, full of, you know, life force? Not at all. Not at all? And what was the other one? Uh, is it even raw? And that's questionable <laughs> as that as well. <laughs> is it raw? So, as you can see, with cacao, we got three resounding no's, right? With cantaloupes, we got resounding yes. Wait, yeses. no, the other one was, does it promote health? Does it promote health? No, it no. actually takes away from health. Right, right. So, you know... So anybody now, right, I've just empowered you all to walk into any health food store and using some of these criteria, right, I, in class I have 10, but you could just have three, like my top three to go into any store or any place I am and ask myself these three questions on any food that's in a shelf, whether it's labeled raw or not, is it health building, yes or no, is it water rich, yes or no, does it have life force or vibrance to your enzymes or whatever you want to term that. Right? Okay, that's a great, great way to... And that way you can determine. Now I tell people, how about this? If it comes in a bag, container, a bottle, can, or a box, you should even question if it should be in your body. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> I agree with you 100% on yeah, that one. Especially if it doesn't have an expiration date on it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. You've learned the criteria. So you could put that criteria up to any food. I don't care what it is. And basically what you're going to determine is any fresh fruit or vegetable is going to pass the criteria. Any nut, seed, or anything else. Nut, nuts and seeds are going to be like questionable, right? And anything else is going to be not good for you. So, I mean... We need to stay on track and, and know it's raw and, and know it isn't. And I hope you learned something today. And feel free to visit my website to learn more. Give us your website real quick. Sure. Growingyourgreens.com, rawfoods.com, okraw.com, and um, discountjuicers.com. Okay. Oh, thank you, John. Have a great raw life, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Nature's All right. Wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life.